Good evening everyone, my name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. I hope that you are all well. In the morning I am heading on a brand new backpacking trip. If you haven't watched the previous video I'm going to be travelling around Europe for six weeks and it's a bit of a diverse trip to be honest. I'm starting the trip in Spain where I'm going to be doing some volunteer work on a farm, getting a bit down and dirty. Then I'm going to be backpacking through Montenegro and Albania doing hiking and general backpacking activities and then I'm finishing the trip in Corfu doing a sailing trip with med sailors jumping into the ocean every day and general just beach bum bikini life and today I am showing you what I am packing for this trip so without further ado let's get into the luggage that I'm going to be bringing because it's not normal for me so I am going to be traveling hand luggage only for this trip now normally I would be bringing my 40 litre Eagle Creek global companion with me however I wanted to try something new for this trip it's something that I've been contemplating for a little bit of time I just want to try it out and see how I get on and see how it compares guys I'm gonna be traveling with a suitcase can I even call myself backpacking bananas anymore I'm not so sure but I don't care I'm traveling with a suitcase this one is from Rip Curl it's 35 liters so it's actually smaller than my backpack um, oh, there's some things in here. Don't look, there's some things in here already. Um, it opens out um, like a clamshell and has two uh, like mesh zips to close things off. And it also has a couple of pockets here on the front. So yes, this is gonna be my main suitcase. As well as that, I'm also going to be bringing this brown um, like electronics laptop bag from Kabaya, I think this is called the Adventurer backpack in a medium size in the brown color. So this will have like my laptop and electricals in. I'm not gonna go into what's in this bag today. Um, it's basically just like my laptop, my iPad, all my chargers and cameras and things. Uh, what we're really gonna be talking about in today's video is what's in that suitcase. We're gonna start off with my clothes that I'm bringing um, and let's get started. Okay, so as for my underwear, I am bringing a lot more than usual. That's because I did not have enough on my previous trip and I was like, damn, I wish I had more underwear. So on this trip, I'm bringing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 pairs of underwear. Is that excessive, I hear you ask? No, I would like to bring 12 pairs of underwear. I don't know how readily available laundry services are gonna be on this trip. Um, and so that's another big reason why I'm bringing so much. Hopefully it all fits, but yes, 12 pairs of underwear. As for socks, four pairs of socks. I reckon that's gonna be okay. In the bra department, we have got a non-wired Gymshark peach coloured bra. This is really good because it's almost nude coloured so it kind of goes under everything and you can't really see it. I have a blue Urban Outfitters non-wired bra which is again just really really comfortable, easy to wear. I have a lacy uh, non-wired bra from Jilly Hicks which I very much like, it's just a little bit nicer. And then I have a shock absorber sports bra which is pretty much the only bra that I can wear if I'm going to do any kind of sport and I do plan on doing hiking, maybe a bit of running as well and so this will come in very handy there. So all in all that's four bras. I'm bringing one pair of pyjamas, I didn't film myself in this but my shorts, my pyjama shorts look like this and then my pyjama top just look like this. It's a summer trip, so um, yeah, I don't feel the need to wear long pajamas, which is fine. Now let's move on to my bottoms. So I'm bringing two pairs of trousers. I'm bringing these blue Aladdin pants, as well as these floral black, gold, and yellow trousers. I am also, of course, bringing my solo trousers and shorts with zipped pockets. These are available to purchase on backpackingsolo.shop. I'm bringing my lightweight denim looking shorts that aren't actually denim, but they're just quite comfy and easy to wear. I have my lilac slightly smarter shorts. And then I have three pairs of sport shorts. I have one black pair from Jilly Hicks, which have a pocket in the side, which is very useful. And then I have two pairs from Lululemon. Uh, both of these are the four inch length. One of them is like a maroon color and one of them is just plain black. So these will be really good for when I'm working on the farm, but also exercising. 
I'm bringing one pair of black leggings, which I will be wearing on the plane tomorrow. And these will also be what I'm wearing hiking in the north of Albania, because I've heard it's going to be quite cold there. Like the rest of my trip is generally going to be very, very warm, but I think hiking on the top of those mountains is going to be a bit chilly. So worth having leggings. And then I'm bringing one play suit on this trip. It's a return of the blue, black and white one. I've had this for years and I used to wear it on my backpacking trips all the time. And for some reason I haven't in ages. And I just saw it in my wardrobe and I thought, oh, I really like that. Let's, let's make a return of this play suit. And then as for tops to pair with all of those bottoms, we have my black solo crop top. I've got a plain blue tank top, a plain yellow crop top, a plain red strappy top, which I don't need to wear a bra with, which is great. I've got my black backless top from Free People, which is, I always say, like a business in the front and a party in the back. And I have two oversized baggy t-shirts, this big kind of brown one and this big mint, this big mint t-shirt. I was thinking these would be really good for doing the farm work if I just wanted to stay cool but also like cover my shoulders. They might also be good for like the hiking and just like days out with sport shorts. That's what I'm thinking. And then I have two sportier tops. I've got this pink one from Gymshark that kind of acts as a bit of compression as well. And I love wearing this for sport. And then I'm also bringing my long sleeved Gymshark one just because, like I said, if it gets really cold on those northern mountains in Albania, I think I'll be glad of this. And also if for whatever reason I am just chilly, I think it's just good to have a layer which has long arms. This is my only one. In all honesty, I haven't decided which jumper I'm going to bring on this trip yet. I'll let you know at the end of the video. I controversially for the fact that I'm ending this trip on med sailors, I am only bringing one bikini with me. And the main reason for that is I'm not fond of any of my bikinis anymore. I haven't bought any new ones recently. All the ones that I have are just a bit scabby. I really need a bikini refresh. So the one that I am bringing is just these um, like purpley pink bottoms and this top from Rip Curl, which actually has underwiring in, so it's very supportive. It's not the comfiest, but I do like the way that it looks. So yeah, that's the only swimwear I'm bringing. I do plan on buying new swimwear before the trip in Corfu. So stay tuned on the vlogs to see what swimwear I do end up buying. But as of right now, at the beginning of this trip, this is all I'm bringing. I'm bringing this cap. This is my Lululemon cap and I really like it because it's like designed for sport. So when you're in hot countries and you're sweating, it just keeps your head really cool, but also keeps your eyes out of the sun, which I think is just gonna be so useful. Literally at all points on this trip, like when I'm doing the farm work, when I'm backpacking, when I'm on the boat, I just, Something that's protecting your eyes is really, really important. But on the other hand of the spectrum, I'm also bringing a raincoat on this trip. And again, this is literally just for that hiking that I'm gonna be doing in Northern Albania. I've heard it can get a little bit wet because you really are quite high up in the mountains. The weather's unpredictable. It can be cold, it can be wet. And I wanna be prepared for that. So I am bringing my Rab raincoat this one is really really good quality and it folds up to be like a pack -a max size so i'm hoping that i'll have room for that in my backpack as well so now moving on to some of the accessories of sorts that i'm bringing on this trip uh we have my tropic feel cruiser backpack which as you can see by the lettering on the outside of here is is very worn i've actually had this for a few years now and i have used it a lot and i would highly recommend it i would highly recommend just having a foldable backpack on any backpacking adventure that you go on because there's always going to be a time where you want to go out on a day trip and you just want to bring a bag of things but you don't want to use any of the bags that you have and this one's just really appropriate for hiking as well it's really comfy to wear it's lightweight obviously folds up in the bag. Yeah, I really, really rate this backpack. I am bringing two towels. I hope that they fit. I am bringing the Solo uh, Travel Bath Towel, which is soft and fluffy, but it's also microfiber, so it folds up really small. And it has an elastic fastening so that you can tie it up around you, wave your arms in the air like you just don't care in your dorm room and your towel's not gonna fall down. So really good for hostels, this. Then as for my beach towel, I'm bringing my brand new bucket list towel from Awesome Maps. I'm really excited to bring this on a trip because I'm hoping that it's gonna start a few conversations going through um, on the map, like looking at where people have been and looking at where I've been. And yeah, it's just, 
it's just a really cool towel. I'm excited to use it. And I'll be using it a lot as well. I've just decided that I'm going to wear this mint one on the plane tomorrow. So that will save me packing it. We've got all pants and socks in here. We've got tops and bras in here. Shorts and trousers in here. And then this one is just a little bit miscellaneous. We've got my pajamas, my play suit, and my swimwear. As for shoes on this trip, I'm only gonna have two pairs. I'm gonna have my running trainers, which are a bit dirty because I went running in them yesterday, but I plan on doing the farm work in these. I plan on hiking in these. Anything which requires closed toed shoes, I'm gonna be wearing these. Uh, oh, and I'll be wearing these on the plane tomorrow, so I don't need to pack them. And then my Birkenstocks, my light pink, Birkenstocks Arizona sandals, which are nice, already nicely wrapped in a shower cap to keep them clean from the rest of my stuff. It's the only pair of shoes that I'm going to be packing. I expect to be wearing these the majority of days of my trip. I find it really comfortable to walk around in cities in these. Obviously they'll be great for beach wear um, and just generally basking around in the sun. Um, I've had them for over a year now now and I've worn them a lot so they are quite worn. I'm hoping that they hold up. If not, I guess I'll just buy another pair of Birkenstocks when I'm out there because they're popular to get all over the world. But like, I really love these sandals. I really, really rate them as a pair of sandals to go backpacking with. So yeah, these are the only shoes that I'll be packing. I'm going to be bringing my mask and snorkel. Uh, this is mainly for the med sailors trip in Corfu. Med sailors do always provide masks and snorkels on board their boats. However, I just always like to have my own because I have my own and I really, really like my own. I'll be bringing this as long as it fits. This is something that's going in my electronics bag, but we've got my multi-plug here and I always carry just one adapter with it, this Go Travel adapter, because I need to be able to charge all of my things. This is essential, but like I said, this is going in my electronics bag, not in my suitcase, sorry about that. I am bringing this bum belt it's a bit random and it basically just carries like a phone and keys and stuff and it's really for just if I go for a run and I want to bring my phone and a key and just a bit of money or something um it's just good to wrap it around your waist I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this but it takes up no room in the bag and it could come in quite handy if I do decide that I want to go for a run I'm bringing my hairbrush and I'm bringing a foot buff because I like to be able to keep my feet and my hair nice when I go backpacking. And finally, before we pack everything in, we've got toiletries. So I've split these up into my liquid toiletries and non-liquids because obviously I'm traveling hand luggage only, which means that the liquids are going to be restricted. Um, luckily, I actually already have them all in a little um, bag ready for going through security from the last time I was on a plane, which is very convenient. So let me show you what I have in here. We've got a nail varnish, hair serum, toothpaste. I feel like I should note at this point that after Spain, I will be catching another flight which is hand luggage only. And so I'm quite aware that I want to just have a small quantity of all my items up to that second flight because then I think after that second flight is when I'm gonna buy big bottles of everything. That's just something to note. With that, I have got these two little things of 
shampoo and conditioner. I just saw these in Boots the other day and I thought that they were quite good. They're 75 mil and um, they squash down the more that you use them. And also just the shape of them doesn't take up very much room in that bag as well, which is super handy because obviously you do have to make everything fit into this bag as well as it all being under 100 mils. We've got um, some serum. I've never actually used this serum before, but I, I just picked it up yesterday and I've heard great things about it online. The Ordinary Buffet Serum. It's gonna be my first time trying it, but I do like to have a serum as well as a moisturizer. Also in here we have some mascara and we have some concealer. Finally, we have little professional, 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 the professional primer. <laughs> took a while to get out. Uh, now I'm also going to be bringing my moisturiser as well. The current moisturiser that I use is like the Rihanna Fenty Skin Moisturiser and I really really like it. However, how inconveniently large is this? So I don't want to bring it in that, but I do have this little container. So what I'm going to do right now is dispense my moisturiser and I have one pump of this per day usually into this. Let's see if it fits. So I'm going for 47 days, I calculated. So that's 47 pumps. Cue the time lapse. It actually fits quite perfectly. If that's the right amount of moisturizer, oh great. What a good dispense. So there you go, that went from this to this. Way. So this will go in my liquids as well. And that is all of my liquids. There we go, I haven't even filled it up to the top. I'm quite proud of that. But then what we do have, and this is a great area, so I wear daily contact lenses now, and so I have had to build up a stash for every single day, so that's 47 lenses. Now these, like all of the lenses have like a little amount of fluid in them. I'm hoping that security are not actually gonna count these as liquids, and are not gonna say to me, oh, you need to fit them all in this bag, because I'll be like, that's ridiculous. So we'll see. I'm not gonna stick them in my liquid bag but 47 pairs of lenses I have here. Feels ridiculous, but that's how we roll now. That's what happens when your eyesight starts to go. And then as for the toiletries, which are non-liquids, we've got my toothbrush here. I have an electric toothbrush and I love this little case for it because you can, it has a USB charging cable integrated into the case. So you can just charge it in here. It's quite good. I'm bringing my razor and I'm also going to bring a few razor heads as well. I'm bringing this uh, halo wipe, which takes off makeup without needing actual like cleanser. And so it's just quite good for travel. Also, I, I'm really not going to be wearing makeup all that much. Um, I've got an exfoliating glove which just helps in the shower you know i'm bringing pretty much a whole pack of tampons i'll probably just disperse these throughout my bag i'm <laughs> it's a bit typical really i'm there for six i'm out for six weeks and i'm due to have two periods in those six weeks so really good so i'll bring a whole pack of these um i may not even get through it i don't know got a small stash of condoms always be safe I have a non-liquid deodorant. This is just like one of those prit sticky ones. I use, I'm using this one with Mitchum because I know it's really, really good at fighting sweat. It's a very good antiperspirant, which is gonna be good in the hot weather. We have my bronzer and my highlighter. We have a pair of scissors. And actually I just realized that I wanna bring some tweezers as well. I can't find the tweezers right now, but we will bring the tweezers as well. And finally, okay, this, this is a maybe. This is my little Ethique box, which in here has shampoo bar and conditioner bar. Shampoo bar and conditioner bar. <laughs> like I showed you, I've already got the shampoo and conditioner in liquid form. However, if they run out and I haven't bought the big bottles and I still wanna wash my hair, then I think it's gonna be quite good to have these. But the reason that I'm not solely having these is just because I'm just not a big fan of washing my hair with them. I'll only do it if I have to, which is why that this is a maybe. If this fits in the suitcase, then I'll bring it. If it doesn't, not the end of the world. And I think that that is it. 
for all of the toiletries and basically everything that I'm going to be bringing in this suitcase. So, I'm now going to try and pack it in. If it doesn't all fit, obviously I'm going to have to start sacrificing some stuff. If I've got room left over, and I really don't know if I will, then I will consider bringing a few more bits and pieces. But what I've shown you is what I feel like is the kind of bare minimum of what I want to bring. So, let's give a go at packing. Are you curious about how much it weighs? Because I certainly am. Oh, amazing. It's nine kilos. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> because the limit for this airline, I'm flying with Air Europa tomorrow. The limit is uh, 10 kgs for your cabin luggage. Oh, well, how fab. I'm really pleased about that. Everything fits. Do you know what? I might put just two more tops in there and two more bikini tops just because they're staring at me and I feel like I feel like they want to go in. I know I said my bikinis were a bit scabby and they are, but I feel like it's a bit of a crime to rock up with med sailors with only one bikini. Um, so I'm just gonna bring this bikini top as well, which is like a good trusted one that I have, as well as this little butterfly one, which I think is quite cute. And then as for the tops, this is like my favorite top at the moment. I know it's so plain, but I just love the way it fits and it's so soft. It's just like a black crop top. And then I really am loving this royal blue crop top as well. So I'll fit those in on top and then that's it. And then other than that, it's just gonna be a case of bringing this brown bag. And in here I'll have things like, so I'm gonna bring like my DJI camera. I'm gonna bring my GoPro with a dive casing. So hopefully I'll do some diving in Corfu. And I'm gonna bring this waterproof uh, floaty handle as well as this long handle. I'm also gonna bring my dive computer, which I still need to get a battery put into. So we'll see if we can do that before the diving. And and I'm gonna bring my UE Boom speaker in here, as well as just, you know, all the normal things. My multi-plug, my adapter, my laptop, my iPad, all my chargers, all the shebang that normally comes with me in this bag on the trip. And then as well as that, I'm gonna bring my bum bag as well, my solo bum bag. But you'll see this in future videos. I'll share a video of me traveling to Europe, so you will see it then. But I'm pleased, I'm really, really pleased that that's all fit in first time because I wasn't sure, especially, well, especially because that's 35 liters and my backpack's normally 40. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see how I get on with the suitcase, honestly. I, of course, will report back. I may find it mega annoying. Or I might be like, this is amazing. If I'm completely honest, I would love to find a perfect backpack rolly combo. But they're quite hard to find online, especially like, you know, a good one. We'll see. All, all things to think about for the future. Um, I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful because it really helps to support my channel. Yeah, I guess the next video is just gonna be taking you to Spain with me. So I will see you then. Bye bye.